Welcome back guys to Vanilla Skyblock with one Fred Jones. So in the comments of the last episode, <laughs> that's awesome, you guys said that you wanted to see a matching tube on the other side of the mob spawner, so I did it. That's right. Now that's really awesome you guys leaving comments, um, letting me know what you guys think. Um, I don't ask for comments because I want activity on my channel, I ask for comments because this is your guys' map too. You guys need to, you know, let me know what you guys think about things. Um, you definitely have a huge influence on what we do. So, the more comments, the merrier. This is uh, definitely your map as well as it is mine. But yeah, now that i got that out of the way, let's go look at what I've got done over here. I've done quite a bit actually. And, uh, and, and it's made making this episode quite difficult. I've started several times. I forget to tell you about something. Hopefully this time is the last time I have to start over. All right, so you got this side. All right, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I did go ahead and make this a 3x3 three three area because mobs were landing over here and over there or whatever, and I wasn't getting all their drops. Um, we're doing pretty well. I don't know how that chicken got in there, honestly. I do know how those blocks got in there. It's because uh, we need to set up the redstone for the uh, side swapper, I guess you could call it. So every time that I want to swap which side these uh, mobs are going, I have to go in and I have to break those uh, blocks. And then a zombie ends, ends up picking them up and so on and so forth. You guys get the idea. But let's talk about this side a little bit. So I thought since... I needed a 3x3 three three on this side, I would start with a 3x3 three three on this side. Now as you can tell it's not a 3x3, three three, it's obviously a 2x2, two two. but while I had it a 3x3, three three, I found that I had a nice little record farm. So yeah, I ended up getting a bunch of records. When it was 3x3 three three, these guys could see you, the skeletons could see you really well, and uh, they would try to shoot me. That guy got out. It's one of the problems with uh, having it a 2x2. Two two. But that's beside the point. Um, these guys would uh, try to shoot at me. And they would hit the creeper. And next thing you know I'd have a, a record. But yeah. Um, all of those are from whenever I had it a 3x3. Three three, but I have decided that I would much rather have a 2x2. Two two, um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, you can't stand right here. And kill these guys very easily, uh, especially when you got a three by three. When it's a three by three, you you can't reach them at all, hardly. But uh, as a two by two, you still can't reach them, as you guys can obviously see. So we need to do some redstone over here as well. Um, we're gonna put in a little pusher back in the back. Maybe we'll have like pressure plates. So when you step on the pressure plate, it pushes them all forward, and then you can kill them. Um, right now. The only way I've been killing them, where do I, I have a bow somewhere. These ones that are in the back, let's just grab this guy. Um, the ones that are in the back, just been shooting them with arrows. Yeah, which is not hit all efficient. But we'll set up a pusher today and we'll set up our swapper, our side swapper, so that we can um, swap these guys over to either the XP side or the, or the kill side. I'm going to call this side the XP side and that side over there the kill side. And we'll just set it up to we have a button right here. We'll press the button. It'll swap sides. And then, you know, if we want to swap them back, we'll just push the button again. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, stuff together to start our redstone. In order to do the redstone, of course, well, at least for the block, block swapper. It's not a block swapper. For the the swapper um, we're gonna have to go down underneath this pad which is gonna make things a little bit difficult I actually might have just about everything we need well I'm gonna swap over some stuff and do some things and then um, I'll see you guys in a second okay I'm ready to build our platform underneath our platform our platform under our platform um, and of course you guys need to be here for this because there is a good chance I'm gonna die so I'm not exactly sure how much room I'm going to need down here. So we'll just kind of do our thing. 
and figure it out as we go. And if I don't die, it'll go pretty quick. So, get down here. Um, we need to go, let's see. Man, this always makes me nervous. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing it, but it always makes me nervous. Three should be enough. Okay, so let's get up and get some more air. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's far enough down, actually. Okay, let's get out here. Come on, let me place a block right there. Okay, let's jump over there. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm dead. I am so dead. <laughs> oh, man. Dang it. Okay, no big deal. Just lost levels and we can get all the levels we want. Um, another sign for the death monument. Dang it. I think that's the first time I actually died doing that. All right, maybe because we didn't have very much room. Um, probably because we didn't have very much room to get over there on that um, other block there. Do I need anything else? Oh, I'm probably going to need a pickaxe. Okay, we'll worry about that later. Let's get down there. Um, my ladders. Do I have any ladders over here? I probably don't want them on me anyways right now, so we'll just get back over here and try some more. Okay. What happens if I put a block there? Jeez, Fred, why didn't you do that? I don't think properly when I'm doing this stuff. Alright, so I'm going to make a platform down here. Um, I'm going to have to figure out where all of our redstone and stuff is going to go. So I'll kind of figure everything out. I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to really get going on the redstone. Alright, so i got our platform all ready to go down here. And I've identified where everything is. Um, here's our pistons for the swapper. And then this is the block that the uh, button's going to go on. The thingamajigger is going to go on there. So this design, um, I haven't actually tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. Um, it could probably be compact, a little more compact than what we're going to do today. But uh, I don't have all the resources, as you guys know, to do a really super compact design. So let's go ahead and get started on the swapper. And then if we have time, we'll do the uh, pusher as well. So we're going to put a downward facing sticky piston right there. And then we're going to want a redstone block on it. Now, when we press the button, that will come down and activate... Make sure I'm in the right spot here. Activate that redstone dust. Now that redstone dust will then go into a repeater, which will activate a monostable circuit, which as you guys know, is a sticky piston facing upward with a block on it. And then out of that, we need to go with a repeater. All right, now we want a one tick pulse, so we're not gonna change that. We wanna keep it um, at its default setting. Then we need to go into a sticky piston facing this way with a redstone block on it, just like that. So basically is what will happen. We push the button and we'll get a one tick pulse to this piston and it will leave that redstone block out here. Now, the way it is right now, we're powered there and when it's extended, we'll be powered there. So now we basically just need to find our pistons, one here, so like so, and then like that. Now we want to put redstone torches on these. All right, that one just got activated. Kind of need to hurry because we probably have mobs spawning up there. So we'll go like that, and we'll run redstone around. Let's see now, if I put a block right there, will that, yep. All right, so whenever the redstone block is here, that torch will be off. Okay, and then we'll do something similar here, except for we'll come around the other way, like this, and put a redstone 
or not a redstone block, a block on that to block that signal. That way this redstone signal is facing that one. Oh, may not be able to get a torch on there now. Oh yeah, I am. All right, so that should work now. Um, let's go ahead and go up there and see what we got going on. I think I left it open so we can get in here. Okay, so this is the one that's currently activated, right? So let's go ahead and break this one off. Okay, now we'll go... Fortunately, well, I guess I could um, go down there and, and work it from down there so you guys can see exactly how it works. We'll probably do that. Put these blocks back in here like that. Make us a button. And we'll test it from up here first and then we'll go look at it. That is if it works, we'll go look at it. If it doesn't work, what am I doing? If it doesn't work, maybe we should go figure out why it doesn't work. All right, so this is the block I was talking about, right? So right now it's going to the left. Press the button. Swapped them. Awesome, that is so cool. So yeah, now this piston is extended, as you guys can see. And this one is not. We'll press the button again. This one is no longer extended. Awesome. And this one is. So let me go see if it is all possible to activate it from... It's really not possible to activate it from down here. Um, do I have a stick? I don't have a stick. Let's see if we can make a lever. No. Well, what position are we in now? This is the position we were in when we left. Let me go ahead and press that. And we'll go down and look at it. I'll show you the other position that it's in. Um, whenever the other side is activated. So yeah, as you can see, when the redstone block came down, gave us a redstone signal here, went through the monostable circuit, the monostable circuit gave this piston a one tick pulse, which extended that redstone block out and left it there. Press the button again, it goes through that cycle again, grabs that block, pulls it back, activates this redstone here. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm going to go ahead and see if I got everything I need to do this side over here. And uh, I know I'm going to need, probably going to need some more pistons and things. So let me go get it all figured out and I'll be right back. I should have everything I need to go ahead and do this. Um, I actually had everything I needed before I got started or before I left you guys last time. Um, first thing we want to do though is we want to put in our pistons. We're going to want to put these guys in right at this level. So let's go around the back side here. Pistons are going to go in there. So let's put in a couple blocks like that. Piston, piston, block, block. Okay, so our pistons are in. Should make things a little bit easier as far as figuring this stuff out goes. So we'll put in blocks like so and we're actually gonna have to um, what if I can reach if I go down here put in a block right there oh I can't reach beautiful we have to go in and put our repeaters in so let's go back up and put our repeaters in I guess we really only need one repeater for this um, yeah I'll tear all those blocks out. So if we put a repeater here, like so, and then redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust. Perfect. Okay, we'll I'll take that out off camera after we're done. I don't want to waste any time here. Then we'll go back down over, oh, you know what? Let's put the pressure plates on too while we're at it. Since we're up here, Pressure plates go here and here. Okay. So this is going to be pretty easy, actually. Um, I think. We'll see. We'll go take this block out. Okay. We're going to need to put redstone dust. I'm going to have to break some more blocks. 
that one and that one out. Redstone, redstone. I really thought I was going to have to buy some more redstone, but I didn't realize I'd been killing all these mobs all this time. Is that the right distance? I think it is. Cool. I've been killing all these mobs all this time, and I had all kinds of redstone in my chest. So let's see if you go... If you go, how about if I go? Like that... See if we can get. Let's go ahead and do it like this. One there, one there, one there. Okay, so now they're all pushed out. We don't want that. We want to invert the signal, which means that we need to. Does anybody know? I need another torch. Let me get another redstone torch. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm a dummy. Um, this is the right way, the way it is right now. We don't need to invert this. What happened was um, when I put the when I put the torches in, it sent a one tick pulse to our pistons and kicked those blocks out. And I when I heard it go off, it sounded like they stayed extended. I don't I don't know why, but they didn't they didn't stay extended. But they did give a one tick pulse which caused these blocks to stay extended. But I just started thinking about it when I went to go get these uh, redstone torches, and I was like, no, that's got to be right. And so I stepped on the pressure plates. I backed off the pressure plates. And as you can see, it's correct. So anyways, now that I've totally embarrassed myself, let's go ahead and hit the flipper flopper. Flop them the other way. Oh, I love that. It is so awesome. This is one of the coolest things I think I've ever built, honestly. And it's, it's super simple, too. I mean, there's no crazy redstone or anything going on here. Um, but we'll let a couple of these uh, mobs fill up in here, and I'll bring you guys back when it, we got something to kill. Let's go see if this thing works like we want it to. Um, I know I made this thing tall enough to where we could actually do this without the mobs like, trying to jump out of there. So let's go check it out. Step on it. Pushes them all forward. Kill them. Like a boss. Actually, let's grab a sword. That witch is going to require a sword. Kill them all. Die, witch. Okay. Step off. Push the guy forward. Ha! <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Right on, guys. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for all your comments. And remember, you too could be one of the five. Just subscribe.